Hello guys and welcome back to the uh, second session. So, taking up from uh, where we were uh, a little bit ago, what we've said is, uh, what we discussed was about the bill of lading. The bill of lading is, as uh, I told you, is a uh, bit of an age-old uh, document and nowadays in modern supply chains it, it has a lot of uh, limitations, it has a lot of issues. Well, one of these issues is uh, uh, you can easily understand that uh, is uh, related to the multimodality, uh, the intermodality. Usually, the bill of landing is a legal, a binding, a contractual document that is created between the shipper and the carrier. Now, uh, usually, the carrier is the shipping company uh, in most of the cases, if not in all of the cases, and these shipping companies are usually. Uh, they usually operate in a single route, in a single trunk. Okay. So as uh, sorry about that. As we've said before, the uh, issue is that in modern supply chains, the case is uh, it's. Oh, I, I'm in this camera. Okay. How do I have to do I look okay? So, uh, in modern supply chains, this is not usually the case. Each uh, cargo, each uh, unit, each container is usually transported among many different uh, routes uh, that comprise the end to end supply chain. So, said that, you really want to come up with a, uh, another document, contractual, if uh, needs be or uh, if required, that combines all these different uh, routes and all these different modes and all the different actors and stakeholders in the in this transport in this integrated transport chains. This is called the combined transport bill of lading, uh, which evidences uh, the uh, combined transport movements uh, in end-to-end -end, in integrated transportation chains. Now. Uh, the issue here is that uh, although uh, this is a proposed document and uh, this document is uh, uh, put forward by many carriers and so on and so forth, it's not legally accepted as the bill of lading itself is, or at least it has a lot of limitations, and especially it has limitations in terms of uh, legalities that uh, this document includes in terms of acceptance rates from the carriers and from the shippers. However, this is the modus, uh, this is becoming a modus operandi and this is the vision Okay. Uh, and this is the uh, the vision and the way forward for this one. Uh, the mirages are tra uh, tariff generated compensation when uh, a container or a ship is uh, delayed in a port or somewhere is delayed in the transport chain. 
Door to door, of course, includes uh, services provided for uh, for the entire transport and supply chains, not for a specific segment of this room. So, uh, some of the incoterms, uh, more of for those you will be uh, hearing uh, tomorrow from uh, Todoris, but uh, some general generic. Uh, uh, terms, definitions that we, will, we would be using, we will be using in the next slides. FOB is free on board, it's for export. The receiver, the cross-site me, usually pays the freight at the destination. CIF, uh, the most uh, used, the uh, heavily used chief uh, term, cost in freight, uh, which includes export for the export, includes the uh, shipper paying the freight and all the uh, different charges. Uh, IMO, IMO, hazardous cargo, uh, is a uh, classification, is a class that IMO, the International Maritime Organization, has put in terms to recognize uh, cargo that is dangerous or uh, it is risky. Nine different classes, from uh, gases to uh, nuclear to whatever uh, danger, whatever risk may be uh, pertinent. Uh, intermodal, of course, refers to the use of uh, multiple modes of transportation to move cargo around the transport, the integrated transport chains. Packing list, which is a very, very important document uh, handled in the transportation, the modern transportation chains, uh, is a detailed specifications, specification of uh, the goods that are packed, either in a pack or in a parcel or in a uh, pallet or uh, in a container. That's a very important document uh, because it, uh, first of all, details all the products that are to be transported. And second of all, it details the uh, values that we're going to see later on in the, the customs segment of this uh, presentation. POL is the port of uh, loading, the port of departure. POD is the port of uh, discharge, the destination that is. Uh, and C is a uh, device or is a, a system that uh, ensures that the lock in the doors of uh, the containers is not tampered, is not open, and it's a sort of a uh, guarantee for both the, uh, the shipper uh, and the receiver, the client, the customer, that uh, their products are not uh, tampered, and for the customs that the products that the shipper has put in there are the products that uh, they are declared. So no uh, monkey job, monkey business is done or tampering is done in uh, the container. Now, the main type of carriers, of course, as we said before, we have the different... Uh, am I on? Yeah, we're not recording. Okay, we're not recording again, guys, sorry. 